Hello everyone and welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Today I'm going to blow your mind in 2 minutes flat. Well, maybe we'll go over 2 minutes, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to blow your mind within this video unless I guess you already know about this functionality and have, you know, used this tip forever the way I've been using it, then you already know what it is. You can skip this one. But if you haven't, you will be surprised, especially if you are an administrator or a consultant or a solution architect and you struggle with, you know, having to imagine or figure out what dynamics or what your solution will look like for a user. You know, the way we do that today is kind of like not very uh, advanced. We, in most cases, ask a user for their password and we open another browser and another screen sometimes in another computer, I've even seen that. Uh, and we log in as the user, we log in as the user and we check, you know, at the same time I'm checking, this is what a user will see it. Let's say you make a user, a salesperson, for example, a uh, salesperson role. This is what a salesperson will, will look. Uh, this is what it will look like for a salesperson. And this is what it looks like for me because I'm an administrator. So you're kind of going back and forward. And it's always, you know, it's always a, a problem. And some people, they like to go into incognito mode. Some people like to use multiple sessions. Like I know that you can do that with some browsers like Chrome and stuff where you can have multiple sessions and you're logged in with multiple people. But the point is you're getting somebody's password. Um, and in Dynamics or in Microsoft online applications, Dynamics, uh, Office 365, just basically anything that Microsoft does within the cloud that will be assigned to a user will be available if that user gives you the password. So if a user gives you the password, you can technically go to Outlook just really quick right here. Boom, Outlook, go to the apps and then check their email. And obviously users don't want that. So they're pretty hesitant to give in passwords. Actually, in some cases, it's weird. They just write it down on a piece of paper and hand it to you. But anyway, that's besides the point. Let's talk about that some other day. The point is, today I want to show you how easy it is to see what dynamics or what your solution, your customizations, your configuration will look like for a different user without asking them for passwords, without having to synchronize calendars, without having to ask them for permission or anything like that. This tool is awesome. And it's actually... I mean, the tool is awesome. We featured it multiple times here in this show, in this channel, but this feature within the tool, and the tool is level up, um, this feature is unbelievable. I mean, it's it's black magic. I have no idea how to trash did this. This is unbelievable. I use this thing all the time, and I want to show you what it looks like. So... What I have right here, this is a trial environment. I added a user called John Doe. I made John Doe a salesperson. And as a salesperson, you know, it's hard for me to kind of see what they see. And the reason for that is because I'm an administrator. So when I go to an opportunity and I just open some random opportunity, I'm just gonna go to open opportunities here and just click on whatever mobile computing. It opens up, shows me the BPF, shows me all the fields. Everything looks good. So it's hard for me to know what it would look like if I was a salesperson. So in this case, I'm going to actually switch. I'm going to impersonate John Doe to see what John would see if he was logged in and would try to access this record. Let's say he gets a link on an email to this opportunity, clicks on the opportunity. What would he see when he once he opens that record? Well, let's go check it out. So I go into level up right here. Check that out, impersonate. So now I can open that up, select any of my users. You can see all my users are here. I'm gonna pick John Doe and just turn it on and watch what happens. He refreshes and he tells me access denied. Why? Because salesperson, uh, the salesperson role is set up right now to only show records that you own. So this record happened to be owned by somebody else. I don't know who it was, but you can see even like little letters. I don't know if you can see it up there. It says JD for John Doe. That means level up. It's under the spell of John Doe and everything in Dynamics is now configured to look like John Doe. Check this out. I'm going to go into the opportunities and I'm going to go back to open opportunities. Only one shows up because the owner is John Doe. How amazing is this? You can actually navigate everywhere. You can go to accounts, contacts, whatever, and that spell is just there. John Doe is 
engaged. You can see my active accounts, there's nothing to show uh, because John doesn't own any account records. If I go to active accounts, I can see them. Obviously, salesperson can see all accounts, but that is the point that I can go into any record in Dynamics, logged in as another user, you know, open the record, see what buttons they have available. Even the buttons are controlled. Check this out, no delete button. There's no delete button because I took delete permissions away for salesperson. So the buttons, the ribbon itself, the configuration is, you know, gone. The BPF, gone. The business process flow that was showing for me is not showing for John Doe. He doesn't have security permissions to access that business process flow. So this thing is unbelievable. It's flawless. It works great. I mean, I don't know how else to say that it's hard to believe that this thing is free. Um, so... Once again, if you're going to impersonate, I can always turn it off, go back to my administration mode um, and have, you know, full access basically into this application. And whenever I'm ready to go, click on again and boom, I toggle back to the user that I used to have and everything is, you know, back for me to test and see how they will see it. It's pretty awesome. I can always switch from one user to the next, um, you know, and, and again, begin impersonating. Jane Doe, in this case, is a customer service representative, for example. Uh, you can see that it says, you don't even have access to this app. It even checks access to the app. In this case, I was on the sales app. Jane Doe happens to be a customer service representative. Jane Doe shouldn't have access to sales app. So it says, this is read only. You don't have access to this record. You don't have access to this app. Get out of here. Dynamics itself doesn't even understand what's happening right now. It just believes this is Jane Doe accessing. I can just turn it back off and go back to being Gus Gonzalez, the system administrator. How awesome is this? Doesn't get any better than that. But we're done for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next week.